next test is a butterfly. And this one's a real simple one. This one is actually um, uh, kind of a set it and forget it trade. Not too much. It's not as quite as complex as the other one. But again, it's it's this year, it's year to date. It doesn't perform that well starting in 2016. Um, but I will say that there are some butterflies that do perform well, but they require a little bit more discretion, discretionary stuff. But year to date, this has worked pretty well. So uh, let's take a look at this one. So this is year to date. And what you're doing, this is an all call butterfly. So you're selling two 50 Delta calls 16 days out. You're buying a call 70 points in the money and you're buying a call 70 points out of the money. So it's a 70 point wide each side uh, butterfly. And you're doing it every day and you're opening the trade at 10.30 in the morning and you're allocating 10% of your portfolio. So 10% on a 100,000 account in this trade. And you're only doing it if the VIX is over 25. Um, any questions, any guesses as to why that would work other than just putting them on indiscriminately every day? Why a, why a butterfly would work well in high IV environments? Well, like anything, Zach, yeah. Like, yeah. Anything you're selling. Oh, no, you're buying it, actually. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's a, but that's a good question. So it's actually the, it's, what's funny is it's actually the inverse of it. So in high IV environments, you know, if you're, if the VIX is at 30 and you sell a condor, you're going to collect more premium for the same deltas that you would in a 20 environment, right? It's not a necessarily a question of, um, or inversely, you're going to sell a five delta, you know, if you said a five delta iron condor, um, it's much farther away than it was when VIX was 18, right? Well, in a similar way, a butterfly does not benefit from a lot of movement. It's, it's an even tighter spread. But with the debit on these, the higher the volatility, because it's so expected that it's going to break the tent, the, the premium is such that it's actually cheaper the more expensive vol is does that make sense at all for instance like if you put a a um 10 wide call butterfly on when vix is 12 you're actually going to pay uh it's going to cost more than if vix was 80 and you did a 10 wide butterfly why because the market is pricing in the premium, which says there's no chance. Look, if you want to pay us four dollars for this butterfly uh, versus ten dollars, uh, if you want to pay us four dollars for this butterfly because it is we're fixes at eighty, we're having hundred point swings by the hour. You know, uh, more power to you. We will collect that money. Versus market makers at a, a, a twelve, the market at a VIX at twelve, they said, well, there's a good chance it could sit here. You know, the, the market's not doing much. So uh, if that makes sense at all. So the more expensive uh, VIX is, the less you pay for them. Um, and therefore, the more vol gets crushed if there's no movement. Uh, so with that being said, I'm in VIX 25 on this. And I'm not being as careful with my uh, stuff. I am putting slippage on it. And I have closing fees and opening fees. But I don't have profit target checking. So you could definitely add that. And let me share this with you. There you go. So this one's interesting to me year to date because it actually has a really small drawdown. And um, what you're doing, it, it's, it's interesting and the, the price movement, I'm oh, sorry, let me refresh this real quick. It's not showing you one of the keys of this, what the exit condition is. Let me show you that. 
what I'm the exit condition, there's no profit target and there's no stop loss. The only exit condition is that if it uh, touches the tent edges, we exit. Does that make sense at all? So if it's a 70 wide, cal uh, uh, 70 wide um, butterfly, the exit condition we're using for this is if it touches the longs, if it t goes 70 points. And so what does that look like? Well, it's kind of, it's not a it's not a pretty graph by any means, but and you only win fifty seven percent of the time. But what's interesting about this is the winners happen relatively quickly. You have one point eight days in the trade, and I think the reason that's happening is because in these higher VIX environments, as soon as there's no movement, vol starts to contract, and even when there is movement. Vols contracting because it, the movement is not priced uh, accordingly to what VIX is estimating. And so, just looking at the first one, you put it on at 44 or 41, and you get taken out at 43.29, uh, but you actually have a profit. How is that the case? Well, I haven't been able to graph this out yet but if you graph this out in your brokerage you're going to see that you're short you're probably short one to two deltas and the 70 wide even 70 wide butterfly is going to be short delta so the movement to the downside is actually not going to hurt you much it's a pretty safe trade and i think that's why it's performed so well this year uh, it's a safe trade to the downside uh, you have plenty of time to get out especially with 16 days. Um, and if you notice the losses, here's the thing I wanted to show you that's really interesting. Hopefully this actually, I, I think you guys, if you took this, could make this a killer trade uh, or a killer back test at least by adding this to a portfolio. Because what this does, if you look at the losses, um, this one hit a little bit uh, too fast. So you got stopped out. But most of the losses you're going to notice are to the upside. 44.58 to 45.28, 44.01 to 44.71, 41.63 to 42, 43 to 43.97, upside loss, 33.38 to 44, upside loss, 41.70, 42.40, upside loss, uh, 40.34, 39.60, the downside. Um, so you will get it, but it's not quite as, not quite as bad. 4037, 3960, that's a winner. 3927, 3997, you guys get it. The, the, the risk on this trade is to the upside largely. But in, in this type of market, I think that's actually a pretty safe trade to take if you had some other stuff going on in your portfolio, perhaps, um, off the top of your head, what would what would be something that we could do on top of this, if not add to this or adjust this trade? Any thoughts? Again, your most of your losses are coming from the upside. Your initial thought might be, "Oh, go ahead." Go ahead. Uh, an, an unbalanced butterfly. That's good. Great job. So, the initial thing is that if this is even and you're short delta, so your 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 all your losses are to the upside. Let's see what would happen if we made that um, upside 60, which more or less evens out the trade a little bit, makes it a little bit more delta neutral. And this time, let's get out at 60 instead of 70 points. Suddenly turns into a loser. Now, why is that? Now again, this is year to date. 
it's always in danger of curve fitting, but we're just, it's an interesting trade for this year. Well, because most of this year has been a series of down moves followed by really, really sharp rallies. Um, and so you actually, I think, want to have some sort of sense of a trade that this far out that has at least one to two short deltas per trade or per contract sizing, if that makes sense. Um, but what's interesting, if we go back to that, actually, I'm just not going to save it. What is something we could do to the upside? Well, someone had the idea a while ago. They wanted to test. Let's see here. DJ Dirty Funk, great name. Welcome to the party, DJ Dirty Funk. Uh, let's do an all call, long out the money long call butterfly. Perhaps that's a way to to um, test it. So let's let's see that now. So let's let's craft one of those things. Let's do that together. Do you guys? What should we do for an out of the money butterfly? How far out of the money should we go for this test? And again, maybe maybe just for the fun of it, let's think of it in terms of like trying to pair it with this butterfly that we have that is kind of short delta. What could we do to add an out of the money long butterfly? What what deltas would we try to target or how far out? Don't be shy. There, are, there, well, there's plenty of wrong answers, but I give all the wrong answers too. So we're all giving wrong answers together. Don't be afraid. 